Hello you lovely friends how are you all doing this beautiful day I am Ishna and I welcome you back to my channel and to yet another fragrance review video I know I have been MIA for a long time but there has been some things for which I was not there but never mind I'm trying to uh, do as much as possible and you wanted fragrance reviews videos again so here it is for you and today I'm going to talk about these two fragrances right here but before we get started, please spare a moment to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell icon next to it so that you are notified for all my future videos. Without rambling any further, cutting the intro short, let's get started, shall we? Alright, before I uh, get into the fragrances and actually talk about them, I'll quickly cover what's on my lips today. And by the way, I did nails for the first time. These are, uh, these are my actual nails. These were chipped and broken so I got these as extensions and these are natural but I love the gel finish and all. It's a very simple color. I, I am not into much of nail art as of now but I like how uh, it feels, how it looks and everything. The finish and all, it's very nice. So yeah, just wanted to share that. I did that just yesterday. I was super excited so I thought I'll share it with you. Anyways, coming back to my lips, so I am wearing actually a combination of three lipsticks, which was not the plan initially, but it turned out to be like that. So first I am wearing as my base this name, uh, Lakme 9 to 5 Primer Matte Lipstick in the shade Blushing Nude. The writing is super tiny, I'm not sure if you'll uh, understand that. This is how uh, this color is. It's a very peachy, beautiful shade. But it's something that washes me out even with makeup. So I was not very confident wearing this. So I thought I'll top it up with this lipstick right here. Now this is uh, uh, the Maybelline New York Sensational Liquid Matte. Uh, the shade name is called uh, Truly MLBB. But it's not MLBB for me, I would say. Uh, rather, even this... Uh, uh, image I mean this color that I see in the bottle is deceptive because this is very pale let me uh, give you swatch next to each other you will understand this is the uh, Lakme one this washes me off uh, on its own as well as with makeup I am not uh, very confident I might try with a dark lip liner and try it but I haven't uh, tried that today and this one look at this color and then I'll show you what you get Please excuse the swatch. The swatch has is not very good. I tried, but then yeah. And this is the color. So if you look at it from the bottle and look at it from actually what the shade looks like, these are no way similar. So it's very deceptive. I don't know why they did that. So and I forget also all the time when I reach out for this thinking this is a pink nude. It turns out to be this one, this brownish, pinkish, dirty rose kind of thing. It's not even a dirty rose. It's, it's something that washes me off completely and it's very patchy. I don't know why this is not. I mean, I'm a fan of Maybelline lipstick. So this came as a shock that it's so patchy. Anyway, so I was not lo uh, liking the combination of those two. So I topped those off with uh, this uh, Swiss Beauty Stay On Lip Crayon 18 Mauve On. Now this happens to be a very pretty shade and this saved my lipstick for today. Sorry, the sort. So this is what the color is but the combination of three uh, created something like this which is something I'm very happy about so how it turned out finally was something that I like. I like this on its own mixed with all these two as well but um, I am not a super fan of uh, these two lipsticks right here specifically this one because this is misleading. This one at least tells you what you will get and you get exactly that. This is not the case with this one. Even the quality is not that good. It's super patchy. That is not what Maybelline lipsticks are like and I don't expect Maybelline to perform like that. So this was a big disappointment. I will never ever recommend anybody to try this one. Rather this one would be a good, good alternative. Anyway, <laughs> with the lips covered. Let's get started with the um, fragrances, the reason you are here today. So uh, we have the Engage Lamanth 2 variant. Uh, these two are high-end fragrances basically from the house of Engage. Engage produces wonderful fragrances and most of them are very affordable and pocket friendly. Please excuse all the background noises. I, I can't seem to find the time when it's suitable to shoot. Uh, all the time it's noisy and chaotic at my uh, area. Never mind. So this one. Uh, is comparatively on the higher side. I'll quickly cover what the packaging looks like. These are both cardboard packaging. They look pretty same like this. The 
fragrance name is written here and the, uh, the color coordinated uh, stuff you will see the bottle also looks like that some information about the fragrances the back has also some information and on this side as well you have some additional information and uh, these uh, are both EDPs so uh, they are supposed to perform well as well so let's check out and find out if these actually do the job or not we can start probably with um, intensity and we'll move on to sunkissed okay so uh, I won't be covering the packaging every time so I'm covering here and that is the same thing you have a safety uh, lid right here when you open this your fragrance is housed right there this is how the bottle looks like it's a very classy bottle to uh, display on your vanity but it's a heavy bottle so that it might be difficult for you to carry this around just take it out in an uh, atomizer and carry that small atomizer with you wherever you want to go but this by itself is a heavy uh, glass bottle the quality is very good the bottle quality is nice the lid quality is very good as well yeah the shape is very nice to look at as well so when i open this uh, you have a silver atomizer sprays nicely as well now this fragrance is a beauty in a bottle this is i don't know why it's called intensity but then it's it's pretty intensely floral fragrance if i might say it's a floral fruity that kind of a fragrance mostly it starts off with a floral and fruity kick and it continues like that i'll quickly cover the notes at the top you get bergamot and frangipani the frangipani uh and bergamot is the great start to this fragrance it smells lovely it smells divine the freshness of bergamot is although not very evident the frangipani is more stronger and overruling here as you move towards the heart you get berries and black black currant here so this is the where the heart gets fruity the fruity bit comes a bit later on which is why the first element that i could sniff was floral it was the frangipani uh, uh screaming at the top of its voice kind of a thing so the fruit is there but it comes later on and this fl uh, fruity floral concoction stays for quite a long time because the heart is pretty strong the top is also strong because the frangipani is a good note it stays and the base has again sandalwood and ylang ylang two beautiful notes together the floral element is the one that is the supremely dominating one the sandalwood is very mildly there you mostly get the fruity the floral and the fruity bit much later the beauty the earthiness of the sandalwood comes across but it's very mild the sandalwood is not the screaming part here the part that is extremely powerful and overrules this fragrance is the floral part so from frangipani to ylang ylang that transition carrying the floral bit as well it's something to die for and it stays like that so it makes out to be a very good evening party occasion uh, based fragrance like you wear it to a wedding or an event this will cling on to your pulse points as well as to your clothes so if you I mean in India I guess it's important to spray, uh, spray it on your clothes as well otherwise a fragrance will not last regardless of how much money you're putting into because it's a humid climate there are few pockets here and there in India which are not that humid but essentially it's a hot and humid country and we are slowly moving towards again the hot uh, um, months of the year so if you want to wear this you can get a good wear time of this as well when you are wearing to a party or an occasion uh, you will get a good wear time of 3 uh, uh, sorry 4 to 5 hours if you are just spraying it on your body but you that will be intensified to 6 7 hours if you wear it with your, uh, spray this on your clothes because it's a beautiful fragrance at the beginning when i first wore it i haven't i didn't even check the notes and anything i thought there is a strong element of white florals not only florals white florals is there so that uh, is somewhere getting catered to by the frangipani and the ylang ylang but the overall accord is very much white floral type it's so beautiful i mean there is no words that i can say it it can be a great gifting option it can be a great uh, um kit as well if you make it a him and a her set because you have the him variants uh, in the lamanth range as well it's 
amazing. I mean, I don't have sufficient words that justify this beauty. This fragrance is this range is called Lamanth, and it, Lamanth means admirer or lover in Spanish. And I can only think of love when I smell this. It's such a beautiful fragrance. I highly recommend you to try this one. It's a beauty in a bottle. The color is so nice and uh, mild, but the fragrance is very nice. So this is not for uh, people who like inoffensive fragrances because this is strong. So if you're into mild fragrances, this might be too much for you. But if you're looking for a strong fragrance that will last the hot and humid uh, climate of India and serve you a, a nice long uh, a nice long wear time, then this must be a pick that you can lay your hands on. It's essentially since it's white florals and fruity and all that bit, I think this is more aligned to uh, women. But that doesn't make it a fragrance less that a man will enjoy. I mean, if you are into these notes that I just said, then please give it a try. Don't worry about these distinctions. I don't believe in those anyways. But women will definitely reach out for this, will definitely enjoy this, which is why I highly recommend. And I am saying it's a bit feminine. The sillage and projection in this case is decent. It will project for initially uh, what 15 to 20 minutes but after that since your clothes have it because I am suggesting you spray it on clothes as well. Since your clothes will have it, the moment you sway your clothes are moving as well. It will go on emitting that beautiful uh, spurts of the fragrance continuously and if people come close to you, you meet somebody, you hug them or anything then obviously they will get a whiff of and that will give you compliment as well. These are both 100 ml. I'm covering the price point right now and I'll then move on to the other one which is, uh, um, what is that? Sunkist. Yes, I'll move on to that one. The price point is same for both of them. Both are 100 ml. They retail for 999 but never pay full price. Wait for discounts. There are discounts running here and there throughout the year. So wait for the discounts and then only you purchase it. And I paid what 799 or something like that. Get some discount but a good discount also or without the discount also it's a good fragrance. So I highly recommend you to try this one. It's a good one. And I don't particularly see any age restriction. If you like florals regardless of what age group you are you will be enjoying this one. So no age restriction whatsoever because uh, when I was in my teens, I still like florals and when I in my 30s, I still like florals. So I don't see any age distinction here. So there is no restriction whatsoever. Anybody can wear this beauty. Moving on to the other one, which is Engage's Sunkist. Now, this is again a beautiful fragrance, but look at the color. I mean, it's purple. The box is also purple. I showed... I showed you the box as well. So this is how the box looks like. It's purple. Now in which country sun or sun kissed is associated with purple? I have no clue. This is the only complaint that I have uh, about this fragrance and I'll come to the notes and everything and we'll cover everything in detail again. But it is not sun kissed. The naming for this one is not accurate. The other one is also not sun kissed. It's not that it got interchanged or something. The other one has intensity as the name and a orange packaging that doesn't make it sun kissed appropriate that's a floral a sweet intense fragrance there is nothing about sun kissed because it's not a supremely warm fragrance so there is nothing called sun kissed in intensity as well so i don't understand why this has been called uh, sun kissed because it's not interchangeably switched or anything that was a mistake or anything i don't th see it like that that is intensity it is fine this sun kissed name is wrong i'll tell you why let me spray this and we'll get on to that, uh, this fragrance in detail. It's a beautiful fragrance. It's a fragrance which is again on the floral, uh, somewhat fruity, somewhat woody, that kind of an area. And it's comparatively milder than intensity. But there is no element of warmth, I would say. I'll tell you, uh, let me cover the notes. The top you get tangerine and blueberry. Both are fruity uh, notes, right? The sharpness of tangerine is not there as much as I expected it to be, thankfully, because I'm not a supreme fam fan of orange or tangerine and all that stuff. So the sharpness is something I don't enjoy. The sweetness is something that I enjoy. So the blueberry and, tan and tangerine together, 
they are creating a very sweet fruity start to this fragrance in the heart you have tuberose and tiger orchid now again two beautiful floral uh, notes that has been given here tuberose is amazing white florals and tiger orchids are so mild and delicate what i think is they saw the color of tiger orchids and that is what they have replicated in the bottle and the cover as well which is why the purple color which is fine they could have given it something a different name on lines of orchid and stuffs like that why sun kissed i don't understand that because there is no warmth in this fragrance it's a very nice fragrance but there is no warmth in this fragrance it's a perfect summer time fragrance a warm a fragrance that has got warmth is something that i'll reach out to during winters neither of these fragrances have that quality if at all i think at least a bit intensity still has 1% i would say if i have to compare but this one doesn't although the base note here is sandalwood only sandalwood despite that also there is no warmth in this fragrance as i see it for me there is no warmth in this fragrance it's so beautiful it's so mild it's delicate it's such a nice a lovely fragrance it's just that this naming is incorrect i can never associate sunkist with first of all this color or this kind of fruity woody smell yes this woody would if the sandalwood bit was more strong i would have still considered it to be a um a warm fragrance which is not the case here the sandalwood mixed with all the notes in this fragrance is very mild and the berries the tuberose and the orchid have a stronger presence than the sandalwood or the tangerine which is why in my eyes this is in no way a fragrance that can be termed as sun kissed so extremely happy with the fragrance highly recommend this fragrance but if you are thinking of a warm fragrance that will that you want to take it take your with you to a beach uh, event or an, a holiday this is not yours sun kissed is a fragrance name that might mislead you into believing that that this is that kind of fragrance but trust me it is not it's a very beautiful very homely fragrance why i say why am i saying homely because if you have an event in house you are going to stay inside your house it's it's maybe a birthday party or a small gathering of friends or i just can't think any uh, other uh, occasions right now some any kind of indoor activity that you want you can wear this and this being mild it will project decently none of these leave a huge trail sorry i i forgot to cover the cr part for that one nor intensity n- neither intensity nor uh, sun kissed leaves a huge trail so trail is not what these fragrances are going to give you but what it go- is going to give you if you have to spray this on your clothes as well so the mild scent even after the hours are done like 3 or 4 hours are over it will continue to emanate from your body and the your clothes and it will make you feel good it both of these are of very feel good factor fra- uh, fragrances they smell incredible this they are such fragrances when people come close to you you hug them they will get a sniff and they will compliment you because it's not overwhelming so these are not overwhelming these are beautiful fragrances this one is mild that one is intense just the naming is wrong here both of these fragrances are yes heavily on the feminine side but please if you are a man and you like these kind of fragrances you want to give it a shot please don't restrict yourself just because a feminine tag is given to a fragrance if you want you wear it i wear all masculine fragrances that my husband owns and i love them so i don't think that that kind of a distinction should be there anyways in the market so here it is uh, both the fragrances and both the fragrances are kind of universal any age group can wear it but both are occasion specific fragrances these are not your everyday regular fragrances if you want to do justice to um, sun kissed or intensity for that matter please save it for your special occasion and not waste it on your daily wear if this, this is perfect for indoor events this is perfect for outdoor events as well so both are why they are expensive and they are in the high end side of uh, engage 
perfume because they are worth every penny of yours they are beautiful they will draw attention to yourself you will feel good when you are wearing it so it's a win win in every way i highly recommend both of these you can try out whichever suits your requirement and your taste just don't expect this to be a fragrance you take to a beach site for a party or a holiday you will be disappointed because the name is misleading in this case so yes with that we have come to the end of this video i hope this video was helpful and was fun to watch as well i am doing a fragrance review after so long that it feels very good that i am sitting and doing it as well i have missed it very dearly but if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to give this video a like share it with your friends and comment in the comment section is our thoughts aligned have our experiences been same with these two engaged fragrances of the lamanth variant yes or no i will be eager to have a conversation with you in the comment section and if you are enjoying this video you are here till the end of this video then thank you it really means a lot to me specifically supporting me during the time i am unable to upload as well thank you so much and if you are a viewer who has not subscribed yet please subscribe i try to bring hopefully helpful and good videos from hauls to fragrance reviews and at times uh, mini lipstick reviews as well when i am doing these fragrance reviews so if that's your jam then make sure you hit the subscribe button and join this family and don't forget to hit the bell icon next to it so that you are notified for all my future uploads the links of these two will be there in the description box below just in case if you want to purchase you can check it out that's it for today i'll see you in my next video till then stay happy stay healthy bye